Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be looking at more of my chest stories. Yeah, let's just get right into the video. My husband and I have been homeless for about a year after he was fired from his job by staying in motels. I do work online and have been able to keep a roof over our heads. He hasn't worked in a year. So on Tuesday, when he said he had a job interview, I was excited. He walked since the truck broke down and was sold. He said he needed both phones for numbers. So I gave it to him, not thinking anything about it, especially since I could still get in touch with him with text now. After about an hour, he texted me and said he got the job and just had to fill out paperwork and get his drug test and would only be a couple of hours. Then I saw three expenses on the bank card in the county over and knew something wasn't right. Those couple of hours turned into that night, the next morning. He not only wasn't answering my text or calls, but he blocked me completely. He had both phones, both bank account cards and my valid ID. Before I had the chance to cancel the cards because it was my money on there, he had pretty much wiped out the account. I still had a few days left at the motel, so I caught around. My dog, cat and I are safe at the moment, and I opened new bank accounts but have to wait on cards to arrive, but we can't stay here forever. I'm hoping the card arrives soon and I can get my ID done so we can get back into a motel until I can build up enough money for rent deposit etc and find a cheap apartment or house. I do have a paycheck coming Thursday, though I'm not sure what to do after Monday when I can no longer stay where I am. As far as I know, my husband is with another woman. He contacted his brother just long enough to say he was safe but wouldn't give an answer why. We've been married for 9 years but started dating back in 1988. We weren't arguing and I thought everything was fine. Not a word and I'm just devastated. I just can't fathom why he just left me and our pets like that with no access to money and he tried to clean it completely out. He knew that most likely we would be out on the streets but luckily we did find a temporary haven for a few days. I guess he just found a piece of ass he wanted more than someone who supported him and was loyal through these bad times. I figure he found another woman with more money or something who could take care of him like I did. <gasps> That's terrible. Call the police man. Get him arrested. Alright, there's an update. Myself and pets are still safe. My new bank card should be coming in today or tomorrow. With my paycheck on Thursday, I get to move into a studio apartment I found. It's small but bigger than a motel room and has a kitchen. They allow pets and even have a little fenced-in dog play area. I'm still working to beef up my paycheck for the deposits and food. After I get settled in, I do have an appointment with legal aid counselling for the area. So things are definitely looking up and I really feel like I've got this and can take care of myself. Where I work has announced that there will be a huge increase in work available and should continue through the next year. Even if he tries to contact me, I'm not buying anything he says, especially if he tries to weasel his way back in. He can talk to my lawyer. Yes, girl, yes. Yes, stand your ground, seriously. <sighs> wow, I can't believe someone you marry, your partner, the love of your life will actually do that to you. The fact that he left his wife and then left his pets and then cleared everything. Cleared all the money so he doesn't even care about her well-being. What if she was starving? What if she was hurt and she had no money and she didn't even have a phone? Luckily, she still has a computer because she's working online. But damn, that sucks. Update number two. I just wanted to give another and hopefully final update. I still haven't heard from him, but I don't want to. And the lawyer I speak with on Thursday can take over tracking him down. I and the Furballs are in our new apartment, safe and sound. It took a lot of hard work and every penny I had for my paycheck, but we made it. I still need to get furniture, but we have a roof and that's a great start. We're going to be alright, I know it. And even though I need time to know and love myself again and heal, it was kind of a confidence boost to be flirted with by a couple of the neighbours. Thank you for all your support, love and kindness through these past couple of weeks. Maybe she needed that sleazy of her husband to leave her for her to finally live her life. Because it just feels like she was working her butt off and just providing for the both of them and the pets. While he was what, texting some other girl? So yeah, I'm glad things are looking good for her now. Alright, next story. Me and my girlfriend gained so much of relationship weight. So me and my girlfriend met on campus two years ago. She was your skinny, fit, punk-like, blonde type with tats and green eyes. We were both fit and muscular. We were that gym couple, but once we got together, we got so comfortable. We just spent our day sitting or laying around eating fast food and snack after snack. We quit the gym, focused on our jobs that were from home. We never went out, so wore sweats or baggy t-shirts. I realized we gained weight after a year, when we were getting ready to hike and our fitness clothes couldn't fit. My girlfriend's leggings ripped and we both had muffin tops. I was stunned to see we got bigger. I looked at my girlfriend's body when she was naked on her phone and looked when we first met. She had put on a lot of weight. I mentioned to her we got thick. She said she knew but she doesn't need to worry because she's not impressing other guys and we didn't have health issues. So we weighed ourselves and it shocked us. In two years time, she 5 foot 3 went from 120 pounds to 234 pounds. I went from 5 foot 9, 160 pounds to 250 pounds. 
She told me she's become attracted to my body now and secretly I loved her new body. But purely for health reasons, we are lifting again. We agreed to keep the weight on but have more muscle and tone so it avoids health issues. Oh my god, good on them, but damn, they doubled their weight in two years? Oh my god, I'm just thinking, so I'm 50 kilos now, right? And then I get to 100 kilos in two years? And how much did they eat? That's crazy. I mean, like, I'm glad they're happy together, you know? It sounds like they're very, very happy with each other. <laughs> but hey, this is a good thing, that they're trying to get fit again, together. That's cute. Oh, that's so cute. Now I feel single. Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.